You can't walk on slippery snow and then there, do you? Seems like you city girls ain't got enough brains to make a good rail. Oh no, you can't be more than that than you look. Yeah, but we ain't for to be obliging. <laughs> Miriam, dear. Here's your grandmother. Hi, Miriam. You grown so I can hardly believe it. Good to see you. Did you enjoy the say that? Wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you, kindly, ma'am. Well, guess I better go and hit the horse and such like. <laughs> oh, Volko, Yoko. No one told me that you're so in the country. Why would you send a sleigh when there's a perfectly good car in the barn? You children used to love the sleigh. And that old buffalo robe you had over your knees, it's the same one you used to play on with your doll. More moth eaten than ever. <coughs> Will you think Miriam thinks two seats on? Put them upstairs in the front bedroom. <coughs> Same old Ellen, disposition of a grumpy bear. You didn't even say hello. Did she say hello to me? I hope Jason's all right. It's too bad he couldn't come along with you. He was too busy. <coughs> You've all been busy these last few years. I've missed you. But we're here now. And we're going to have a grand <coughs> No one told me my darling St. Joseph. Grandma, hold on it. Oh, my own mother and father. Clayton's have lived in this house for a long time. So still, so I'm glad they are. I've been in the big old kitchen, too. Big enough to see the whole threshing crew when your grandfather was here. Come on, I'll show you. We'll have breakfast in a little while. I'm starving. <sighs> Miriam's here because her college roommate got the measles. It's most irritating. <laughs> Especially for her roommate. <laughs> Too bad Jason's busy. Yes. Yeah. Come in to have Christmas time. No doubt. Nan wants us all to recover our childhoods. Maple taffy and popcorn, tinsel and evergreen, holly and candles, sleds and snow pipes, roast turkey, and uh, a bad cold. Oh, perhaps by pneumonia. <laughs> Why would you leave California for this? <laughs> I had forgotten how much I like snow. This may be your idea of fun, but I don't know. Appreciate anything that ridicules us poverty we endure as children. I don't recall we've read as much about it. And think how much more we'll appreciate what we have now. Maybe we'll even come to appreciate what we had then. <laughs> May I go to my room now? If you want. Is there any heat upstairs? Not much. The fridge is pretty old, and Mother still thinks the school is way deep in my room. I knew I should have come. Gertrude, what's the matter? You expect me to enjoy all of this, don't you? Be happy to live the primitive life. Jump for joy because Jean, what's her name, happens to be back at the same time. You always like Jean Hunter. I like a number of people. It can match quite well with all of them. Besides, her name isn't Hunter anymore. She married, isn't she? Her name is Vince She's a widow now. You're not matchmaking for Jim. She was always Jim's girl in the years that he couldn't afford to get married. And don't tease him. Don't spoil anything. A polite way to tell me to keep my mouth shut. Oh, no. I just want everyone to have a good time. Especially Mother. Oh, don't look so worried. I'll try my best. Thanks, Judy. I knew you would. But don't call me Trudy. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I can take them upstairs. No problem at all. Just <laughs> let you know to stay your back, Timmy. Think maybe I can make it. Be careful. Stick around, Jack. Have something to do with us. Don't mind if I do. We have myself that fun in the coon days. Say it just one more thing. Just name it, ma'am. There's a big chunk of the stir off the kitchen. Could you bring it here, please? I allow it, I'll do just that. It has some old Christmas tree ornaments in it. Well, I'm gone. Still here? Just got me an invite to breakfast. So nice for you. Yep, you know, the fellow works up a right smart appetite. What with doing the early morning chores and such like. I would I know. Appears like you city girls don't know much about nothing. Oh, I wanna say that. You live in a farm around here? I'm the Bailey place, over the hill a bit. 
What do you do with yourself when there's no hair or such? <laughs> Cows always need milking. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Well, I'm afraid it's time I brought me in that there trunk. Don't suppose you cared, Hill. Now you're too spindly to be much use. I happen to be down on the girls' hockey team at college. Do tell, that's a new kind of thing, Paul. I'll get it. All right. Ooh, that Jack Bailey wild me! Trouble, that's the term, trouble. Why, Ellen, you mean I'm in trouble. Come in, Jane, I don't mean anything of the kind. Oh, smile. Ellen, tomorrow's Christmas. I need any help? I haven't forgotten how you can find you living in this now. How's everything? Spoiling for trouble, you just mark my words. Oh, come, you're glad to have the sight back on the farm. Well, do they have to act like they're millionaires, and I'm nothing at all? Jim doesn't act like that, neither does Nan. Oh, Gertrude's here. She's here, and that daughter of hers. Oh, Miriam's nice enough. I brought the stirrup. Oh, thanks, baby. Um... Cold out. Very. Do you mind? Oh, I'm enjoying it. Oh, so am I. Oh, I wonder how long it's been since we've been in this room. I've forgotten. Mm, probably the year before I graduated from college. Um, just before you got married. Yes. It's funny how that just keeps on... Before we got married. We had lots of fun with our friends Oh, yes. Ed Collins and Sam Bailey. And who was that? Who was Sam's girlfriend? Ruth. I wonder if we have any pictures. Your mother keeps everything. Oh, would you like to look? Why? Oh, here's a picture you took of your mother when she was feeding the chicken. That she never liked it. Her idea of a picture was to get dressed up in your best dust and pose for a photographer. Funny, she doesn't look so old, and yet we always thought she was. <laughs> Not as old as we are now. Oh, it's funny how the years fly by. People always wonder about that. I hear my mother say it, and yet she thinks of me as a young girl. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> oh, your graduation picture, Jim. You didn't know then that you were going to be a rich man someday. Oh, I was absolutely certain of it. See how stiff my shoulders are and the resolute way my jaw sticks out? <laughs> I had just made up my mind to lick the world. And you did. Well, in a way. Well, here's a picture of Nan, Trudy, and me when Nan was a baby. Oh, well, Gertrude was a pretty child. Oh, well, she's a fine-looking woman now, but that's hard to understand. Oh? Well, you weren't around when she married Jason. A big fancy reception in a New York hotel. All very expensive. Well, people get used to new ways, naturally. I always kind of like Jason. Oh, here's a picture of Father. Everybody knew that he was head of this household. I used to be a little afraid of him. <laughs> Me too. I still have memories of the woodshed. <laughs> you know, something just occurred to me that I haven't thought about for years. What was that? Well, talking about the woodshed made me think of it. That's where I used to keep my little baby rabbit. Remember when the two of us caught him down in the old gully? I remember. You spent one whole Saturday making a pin for him. And just as I was getting ready to transfer him from the shoebox, he got away. You were 12. You cried. I remember that. Looking back, it seemed that things always slipped through my fingers. Nonsense. You've done very well. Well, everything that I that I really wanted got away. Oh, hello, Jean. How old you she bring this here up? It's been a long time, Trudy. Hasn't it? You're looking well, Jean. Thank you. Uh, Jim and I were looking at some old pictures. There's a cute one of you in here, Trudy. Please. Uh, you three have a lot to talk about. I'll have that one set the table. You don't have to do that. I want to. Hasn't changed. Have you? Sit down, Jim. We had a little Gertrude about our plan. <coughs> I thought Trudy might like 